want to be smart? Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to be able to finish all your work and still have time to enjoy your life? Well, what if I tell you that you can achieve all this without sacrificing your health or burning yourself out? And the secret is simpler than you might think. Work less. As I was growing up, I believed that in order to achieve my goals, I had to work hard, resist temptations, and have unbreakable willpower. So whenever I wanted to get good grades in school, I would put a lot of time and energy into studying and try to push myself to the limit. However, in the year of 2020, for the first time in my life, working hard failed me. In 2020, I started my graduate studies at the University of Michigan. Initially, I thought working hard was all it would take to succeed, just as it had in the past. However, I soon realized that the challenges ahead would require much more than that. Due to the pandemic, all the classes were conducted remotely. And as an international student, it was my first time taking classes in English. At first, I struggled to understand the professors during lectures. And the coursework was also very heavy. There was a coding class, which had extremely heavy workload every week. I still remembered the professor of this class said, some students may need to spend two hours on it, while some others may need to spend 20 hours on it. Unfortunately, I was the one who needed to spend 20 hours on it. However, Despite my efforts, my grades were always below the average. I thought it was because I wasn't working hard enough. So I decided to push myself harder. I spent all day studying and it would feel guilty if I spent my time on anything else or procrastinated. However, the harder I pushed myself, the more difficult it became to study. I found myself trapped in a cycle of frustration and disappointment. And it's not only my academic performance that suffered, my health also took a hit. The constant pressure to work hard left me with huge anxiety and stress. And the irregular sleep pattern caused my period to stop. That's the time when I realized that I needed to stop pushing myself. It also made me realize that working hard may not always be the solution to everything. And so I set out on a new path, one that involved working less not more. It completely transformed my life. It helped me achieve my goals and still have an enjoyable and healthy lifestyle. And the best part, everyone can adopt this approach in your own life. Have you ever checked how many hours you can focus a day? Well, research shows that the average length of time one can focus is four to six hours a day. I was surprised when I first learned this because I used to think that I could work for more than eight hours a day. But in reality, only about four hours of that is truly productive. Then how can we make the best out of the limited time we can focus. 
This leads me to study how our brain works. Research shows that due to the limit of the human brain, most of us cannot focus for four hours straight. Instead, our brain tends to go through something called a focus bout. What does that mean? Well, being in a focus bout means that our brain is in a state of high focus and alertness, which is best for concentrated mental work, such as reading, writing, deep thinking, or learning something new. How long is a focus bout? It's usually around 90 minutes. During the 90 minutes, our brain is in a peak focus state. Understanding how a 90 minute focus spot works is important. It's not as though that our brain is in a constant state of focus. Our focus and attention fluctuate. Here is what a typical 90 minute focus spot looks like. In the first five to 10 minutes, our brain needs a warm up. Similar to warming up our bodies before doing exercise. You can use this time to clear your mind through meditation, journaling, or tidying your workspace. Then our brain starts to enter a peak focus state. During the focus state, your brain is highly focused, but probably you'll still find that your attention tends to shift. This is because how our brain is designed. So rather than expecting ourselves to maintain a constant state of focus, what's important is to refocus. This may sound counterintuitive, but refocusing is a key aspect of focus. Around 50 to 60 minutes later, our brain's focus ability starts to decline. Then, around 90 minutes later, our brain may start to feel very tired, and it may become very difficult to engage in cognitive tasks. So if you can achieve the peak focus state, you can actually get a lot of your work done during the 90 minutes. And you can work less for the rest of the day. Then how many focus bouts can we achieve during a day? Well, the answer may disappoint you, but many of us can only do one focus bout a day. Some people can do two focus bouts after deliberate practice. There are a lot of factors that influence the state of our brain. But there are two things we can do starting today. It's super simple and it's zero cost. One is to get high quality sleep. Sleep is essential for maintaining optimal brain function. It's super important to get enough high quality sleep to support our cognitive abilities and overall well-being. Another one is to take high quality break. Especially after heavy mental work or a focus bout. However, instead of continuing to engage in activities that require attention, such as scrolling through our phones, checking social medias, or playing video games. It's super important to do something that fully relaxes our brain. You can do low intensity exercise, chat with friends, take a walk, or simply just do nothing. By taking a break, you're actually working less. But the break 
will ultimately benefit the quality of your work and the depth of your thinking. My experience has taught me that the belief that working hard is the key to success may not always be true. Instead, by increasing our productivity, we can actually work less, but still achieve more. Understanding how our brain works and taking regular breaks will help us achieve our goals and enjoy a more balanced and fulfilling life. So let's start working smarter, not harder, and try to achieve our goals while prioritizing our well-being. Thank you.